There is no doubt that it is serious business when SpaceX schedules a Starship launch. It takes the SpaceX founder to reveal it to the public. And when Musk promises something, you better watch out for some historic milestone. It is possible that at this point you could be asking, what should we expect in the next Starship launch and why is it even worth anyone's attention? Good questions. In this video, I will answer those questions and tell everything you would want to know about the next Starship launch. Let us dig deep. You will agree with me that nothing beats the sight of the Super Heavy booster with 33 Raptor engines and the Starship spacecraft with six Raptor engines roaring into space. A few minutes after liftoff, every spectator is keen to witness the climax of it all. A successful separation is a big win for SpaceX and Musk. Whether SpaceX can achieve this remains to be seen in the next Starship launch. It is obvious that we will only appreciate the next Starship launch if we get a glimpse of what happened in the previous Starship launch and all the progress that the commercial space company has made so far. A few weeks ago, SpaceX launched the powerful Starship into space in what is so far the longest test flight. The Starship traveled halfway around the Earth, but unfortunately, it disintegrated on its return to Earth after 49 minutes of flying. Nearing Earth, the vehicle came apart at a staggering 65 kilometers. Meanwhile, the Super Heavy booster met a fiery end in the Gulf of Mexico, exploding during its attempted landing burn. If you think this test flight was not a success, you will have to be reminded that the flight was not intended to make it all way around Earth. The main goal of SpaceX in the test flight was to reach orbital velocities of 175,000 miles per hour, which it did. The success of SpaceX was appreciated by one Amy Johnson, who is a Florida-based space journalist, who spoke to Al Jazeera saying, SpaceX is 22 years old today. The company announced its plans for Starship in 2015. This is the third in-flight test for this rocket system in less than a year. So they are definitely making very big strides towards that goal. The launch was made from SpaceX's private facility in Boca Chica, Texas. As you would expect, the SpaceX team has learned a lot from this previous test flight and will make massive improvements in the next Starship launch. Speaking at the Satellite 2024 conference March 19th, Gwyn Shotwell, President and Chief Operating Officer of SpaceX, said the company was still reviewing the data from the vehicle's third integrated launch March 14th, but expected to be ready to fly again soon. Before SpaceX can start flying again, they will need clearance from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. All signs show that SpaceX will not find it difficult to get a license from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration after Kelvin Coleman, FAA Associate Administrator for Commercial Space Transportation, said this about the flight. It ended in what we call a mishap, but at the end of the day we deem it a successful launch attempt, he said, because it resulted in no injuries or property damage. SpaceX was able to collect a great deal of data from that launch. Following each Starship flight, the FAA has meticulously revised the launch license to account for mission variations such as the latest suborbital trajectory. However, the agency is seeking a more streamlined approach with a single portfolio license, encompassing future launches, a crucial step considering SpaceX's ambitious schedule of six to nine additional flights this year. SpaceX President Gwyn Shotwell has revealed the main purpose of the next Starship launch, saying, I don't think we're going to deploy satellites on the next flight, she said at the conference. Things are still in trade, but I think we're really going to focus on getting re-entry right and making sure we can land these things where we want to land them. SpaceX CEO and tech genius Musk echoed the same sentiments in a tweet saying, getting ready for flight four of Starship. Goal of this mission is for Starship to get through max re-entry heating with all systems functioning. It is important for the rocket to make re-entry as it is fully reusable. SpaceX's vision of cost-effective space exploration hinges on Starship, a fully reusable launch system designed for rapid turnaround between missions. This translates to both the Super Heavy booster and the Starship spacecraft itself being engineered to return to Earth intact after launch. The booster performs a guided re-entry and powered landing, while the spacecraft utilizes heat shielding for atmospheric re-entry and splashdown at sea for recovery. 
This revolutionary approach to reusability is seen as a game-changer by Musk, making settlements on Mars and the Moon economically feasible. Starship's selection by NASA as the crewed lander for the Artemis program marks a significant step towards this goal, paving the way for a new era of human lunar exploration. It looks like SpaceX is getting ready to test the giant first-stage booster, called Super Heavy, for its upcoming Starship flight. This test, called a static fire, involves firing up all 33 of the booster's engines for a short burst while it's still held down on the launch pad. This isn't the first test. They've already done similar tests with the spaceship that will ride on top of Super Heavy. This upcoming static fire is another important step in making sure both the booster and the spaceship can be reused after launch. Booster 11, the rocket that will launch with Ship 29 in the next flight, has been waiting on the launch pad since November. It's passed its initial tests, but they need to fix the launch pad before they can test how the booster works with it. The launch pad needs repairs because the hoses that send fuel to the booster got damaged. Once those are fixed, they can test Booster 11 and the launch pad together. Starship, the giant rocket being built by SpaceX, is designed to be the most powerful and fully reusable launch system ever created. This reusability is key to achieving SpaceX's ultimate goal, transporting people and cargo beyond Earth, including missions to the Moon and Mars. Right now, a key part of Starship, called Booster 11, is waiting on the launch pad for its next test. This test, called a static fire, will briefly fire up the booster's engines while it's still held down. They need to fix the launch pad first, though, because the hoses that send fuel to the booster were damaged. Once those repairs are done, we'll see what the next test for Starship holds. Do you think SpaceX will successfully launch the Starship in the next test flight? Feel free to share your views in the comment section below. To this end, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on the latest SpaceX news upcoming launches and behind-the-scenes insights. Till next time, guys. Cheers.